All right, obviously, we are here. We are about to start our journey to Bloomingdale, Illinois for our Olympic weightlifting competition. I know a lot of you think I'm fucking insane, but you know, you have all the right to think I'm crazy. And can we say that within the first 10 seconds? Who cares? I'm not getting paid anyways. So, um, the plan is simple. We're gonna head down to Bloomingdale, Illinois. We're gonna catch some of my buddies that kind of come and uh, help me out to compete. It's different than powerlifting. I didn't know the rules were that drastically different. Apparently, since I'm the weakest of the group, I'm gonna have to do my snatches all three in a row. I'm gonna have to do my clean jerks all three in a row. So we'll see what the fuck happens. So as you guys saw throughout the week, I worked up to my singles. My openers are gonna be a 115 pound, 50 kilo snatch, uh, 155, 70 kilo clean and jerk. I think those are numbers doable within the days I feel like dog shit, the days I feel like trash. I can do those for a triple whenever I want. I think they're safe numbers. I don't wanna go 182 miles and miss my first lift. So that's the plan. I'm gonna make sure I get those first two lifts and depending how I feel on my second attempt, I might be balls crazy and go for a 185 clean and jerk as a goal or 180 clean and jerk right now i have written soft plans as a 175 if i feel like horrible i know for a fact my second attempt is going to be 165 170 depending how 155 feels um that's for clean and jerks my uh snatches right now um 115 pounds we're thinking second attempt 125 and then 135 to match my gym pr which would be nice i feel like those are easy numbers um that's the soft plan if i get crazy and i know i get crazy during meets because i get too hyped well, I might try going for like a 140, 155 snatch, which would be ridiculous. But since I'm doing all three attempts in a row, we'll have to feel it. It's going to be kind of interesting. Now, with all that being said, uh, we got to travel 182 miles down. I live in Upper Illinois, so near, more close to Wisconsin. I'm only about 50 miles away from Wisconsin. Down to Bloomingdale, Illinois, it's 182. So I got to make sure we go down there. Competition is uh, April. I'm men's ninth flight. Weigh-ins are 1 o'clock in the afternoon, which is kind of dog shit. And we start competition, like lifting at 3. Again, from my understanding, I'm going to go first in all of it. Because my opening total is 135 kilos, which is kind of nothing. But considering I just started learning this shit, it's pretty epic, I think. Because the December, January, we pretty much just learned how to do the movements. And even then after, when I kind of got them, they weren't all that good. And then throughout the 12-week process, I feel like I finally got my snatch down. And I feel like I finally got my clean and jerk down. So it's more or less just like this last 12 weeks of prep in combination of form. So my numbers aren't the best compared to my best powerlifting numbers. Granted, I'm still a noob at this. Um, we'll see what happens. So we're going to go get one of my boys. Uh, he's going to be coming with me in this car. Uh, another one of my friends is going down. He got the hotel for us and he's coming with his girl. They're coming to support. So I appreciate it. I wear glasses and as you can see the transition. Anyways, that's going to be the start of the drive. We got 182 miles to go and I'll see you guys at the next stop. And uh, probably show you what the hell I have in my bags afterwards. So, see you later. Peace. All right, real quick. We're going 182 miles, as you just heard. We got our gym clothes bag. I'm fucking insane. I'm taking this broomstick to warm up. Because I can't warm up with just the work because I'm too weak. So, uh, good for snatches. Really good for snatches until I get warm. I like using the broomstick a lot. So, she's coming with me. Got my gym bag full of shit. We got our Element 26 belt, some chocks, some Adidas Powerless Fours, my straps. We should be ready to rock and roll. Obviously, I'll look close because I got to go 182 miles, so I got to live in a hotel for like two days. We're competing Sunday, but it's the plan. We'll see what the hell happens. Oh my God. It's kind of crazy how big he is and he just walks around, dude. It's like a cat, but like different pattern. Right. Like the Cheshire cat. His new Aww. resting spot. <laughs> Yeah, the windmill's over there. This is badass, ain't it? A CrossFit gym. Like, it's crazy, dude. Uh, I'm gonna get this guy lifting for no reason. Just because I want to see it. That's a decent clean. Oh, nice jerk. Down.
go up and tighten it up and come back. And Let's go, Victor. Yo, what up, guys? It's uh, Victor. Wait, this is the day after. I'm here at work, and I really want to make a quick follow-up to what you just saw. Uh, this is the, literally the day after, so I drove 182 miles back to my job, or to my house, back in Illinois. Well, my county of Illinois, not, not Bloomington. So, what you just saw was uh, pretty cool. Uh, the meat was mad, but uh, I competed on Sunday, so I went out over there by, at Friday... On Friday, I got there. We went to go get a nice ass steak. We relaxed a little bit. Then Saturday, I went to the Bloomington Zoo, which was pretty nice. They had a cool panda looking guy, which is the guy you saw in the video. Uh, apparently, he's a rare species. Anyways, uh, I thought that was cool. Anyways, as for the meat, which is what most of you are here for, uh, I pulled uh, I pulled an eight mile. In other words, I pulled an M and M in in uh, my competition, which is a big L. So what had happened, I. For snatches, for snatches, I pulled a big ass L. Um, unironically, I've done 115 pounds at the garage multiple times, but there's a couple factors that led up to like what the fuck you saw for snatches. Um, for starters, I came in, I missed weight, so I was like, what the fuck? I missed weight not because I was too heavy, but because I was too skinny. It turns out that my scale at home is incorrect, so I had signed up for the the 196 weight class and uh the weight class right below it is 180 85 or 186 but my scale at home was fucking saying that i weighed 188 to 190 on any given day like the last couple weeks so i was pretty sure i was gonna be fine so i didn't you know i didn't have to cut in my head so i didn't cut and i, I just went in there and i weighed and it turns out i weighed 83.7 kilos which is 184 pounds so, I mean, good for me because that's the lightest I've been since, since like, five years at this point. That's, like, the lightest I've been. I've dropped over 40 pounds, which is great, but it was just not a good time to find that out. So, I was stressing over the fact, yo, am I going to be able to fucking lift? Luckily, after, like, 15 minutes of, like, stress and my heart going crazy, the guy comes up to me. He's like, yeah, you should have competed on Saturday with the uh, other guys around your class, but I will let you compete with the big guys i.e. the guys who weigh like 200 pounds because that's how, I was, how much I was weighing when I signed up. And I was like, okay, cool. And uh, so I already like made me a nervous wreck. And then we were warming up for snatches. I'm working up to my snatches. They feel pretty good. I do uh, the bar. Well, obviously I warm up with my broomstick like always. I go bar. I go, te uh, I go five. I go 60 pounds. Then I go to 85, 95. And I even hit my opener in the back room warming up. So this, that's why I'm pissed. I hit the opener in the back room perfectly fine. So then it's my turn to go on and lift in the platform and I just choke. Uh, the people being so far away from home, the drive, 
uh, the stress of missing, missing weight, even though, I mean, I'm healthier, right? And it just all got up to me and I guess I couldn't put it all together. So I, I missed and it is what it is. Cause in the moment you can see me in the video, I'm pissed. Um, because I've done it before. I literally worked up to 115 this or let's past week for, tr for a set of three or uh, three sets of one. And it worked out fine in the warm up room. I hit that weight too. So just to come out and bomb it, it, it wasn't really, uh, fun. It was the nerves. Cause my, uh, my anxiety was getting the best of me and I'll be the first to say, I do have anxiety. I'm human. Uh, outside from that, I was looking at the videos. There's a couple things I didn't do technically right. Um, for starters in the gym, we've been practicing a dynamic setup, which, uh, if you look at the meat, I do not do. Uh, secondly, the barbell, I've never used an Aleco, uh, an Aleco bar. That Aleco bar was very different than an Ohio power bar that I used to train. The Aleco bar has really bouncy. I did not think that. So every, the uh, every time I'd hit it on my chest or every time I'd hit it to like jump, that shit would be flying up, which I didn't expect. I wasn't used to it. And it kind of fucked my snatches up. But that's okay. You know what? I hit it. I was pissed. I was contemplating not going out for cleans and jerks. There's this really good guy, an older gentleman. I think he's a coach. I don't know who he is, but God bless this dude. Him and this other guy. The other guy was a guy I was competing against. His name was Terrence. Both of them came up to me. And you know what? The, the older guy was like, bro, I can tell you know what the fuck you're doing. He's just like. You just let let it let them let the heat of the moment get into you. and I'm like, well, what the fuck's the point of coming out if I my zero is z my total is zero pounds or because if you miss all three, then you can't total. And he was like, well, it doesn't matter. Get the experience. Go out there and get your clean jerks. He's like, just go out there and have fun at this point. Just fuck it. And the Terrence guy was like, nah, fam, you don't got a coach. You don't got a, anybody to help you. It's just you. So like, got to go out there and at least finish. You drove this far. So what the fuck? And. You know, it, it was, I appreciate it for them just to talk to me in general because it, it's nice. I mean, I was out there practically alone. They didn't even want my friends in the back room helping me load up because I didn't have an official coach. It's okay. Whatever. So clean and jerk start. And clean and jerks actually go really well. You can see I hit a 155 opener like I planned to. Like I did in the garage for my openers. I hit a 165 clean and jerk. So I matched my best clean and jerk in the garage. And then I got a 10 pound PR by hitting a 175 clean and jerk. Uh, clean and jerks were good. Again, the Aleco bar is something that I, I, I didn't think I needed or, or something I would like to have personally. The Aleco bar uh, feels very different than my power bar. Like even for clean and jerks, man, every time I got to the jumping position, that shit would fly up for like 155. Normally in the garage, I got a full clean. I power cleaned it, which was good. And then another thing with it was that Hook grip was easier, which is great, but that shit is sharp. The knurling is sharp. It like scraped the crap out of my shins and they're like, they're kind of busted right now. Um, point being, so the jumping was good. The Leco bar was different, very bouncy. Uh, good thing about the Leco bar. I'm used to the Rogue Ohio power bar that leaves freaking marks all over here because the knurling is that aggressive. The Ohio, uh, the Leco bar caught it. And even if it scratched my neck, I didn't feel it at all. It did scratch me on the 165 because I felt it, but nothing. The 175, I caught it like I caught it better, so I didn't scratch me, but it, it felt better. The cleans, great. The jerks, uh, pretty good. I'm surprised the. Some of you might be thinking if uh, they should have red lighted me. I sometimes uh, I think it was a little bit of pity, and uh, to be fair, I wasn't totaling anyways. So if they gave me two whites, they gave me two whites officially on the board. I hit them, even though you guys don't agree with them. The judging might have not been that strict in terms of press out or uh, dropping of the weights because I should have. Uh, I definitely shouldn't have gotten my second attempt, but they gave it to me. That said, uh, plans for the future. I definitely want to continue. Um, for start, I mean, I'm the healthiest I've been in years, so this has been fun. As, as for that, I want to continue. I want to get a coach. It'd be really helpful to have a coach. I've been doing this by myself, a guy, his garage, an iPhone, and YouTube. Um, I might talk to the guys down in Milwaukee Barbell, the guys at Forza, Illinois just kind of ignored my emails and they kind of ignored my Facebook request. They kind of ignored everything, which would have been nice because Forza is right between my job and my house, which is like 25 miles in between. <laughs> um, that said, I think I might talk to the Milwaukee Barbell guys. Uh, I, I wouldn't mind driving up to Milwaukee one time a week, uh, one time a week on a Saturday or a Friday after work and getting training with the coach. Like, yeah, I have the money for it. I, I just, that's what I need to do if I want to continue and get better. Uh, for my first meet, it was okay. I really wish I would have totaled, but 
you don't win everything you do. It's it's not all hard work is rewarded equally. Uh, I choked, and I, I'll fully admit it. That said, you got to stay humble. We have to try again. I want to compete. Not I don't know if soon. I, I'm gonna take a week off, and then I'm gonna see what I'm gonna do. If I can get in touch with the Milwaukee Barbell guys within the next month, then training is gonna be different. I think I'm gonna uh, do a four day Olympic weightlifting split with uh, the Texas method outlined in practical programming for strength athletes uh, where it's uh two volume days with squats and presses and then clean and jerks and snatches and then two intensity days uh with squats and presses and uh, clean and jerks and snatches just until i can get the coaches on like a line that's viable uh, well until then peace and thanks for watching the video